Ini sebetulnya kepengen yang ini style. Ini ya. Karena namanya siapa ya? Tiger namanya. Tiger. Oh. Uh, jadi kayak macan di kartun itu. Apa alasannya? Nak? Karena dia adalah book buddy. Book okay. buddy. Kalau di sini kan tadi udah dijelasin bahwa mm-hmm. ada program anak-anak bisa membaca buku uh, untuk iya, iya. kucing. Nah masih yeah. pengen lihat nggak? Nah aku juga punya tempat yang menyediakan mm-hmm. atau kita bisa lihat kucing-kucing yang juga lucu, oh, iya? lucu menggemaskan. Oh iya. Dan jadi salah satu tren di Washington DC. Oh mau dong. Aku soalnya cat person. Aku seneng kucing. Cat person? Uh-uh. Main-main ke cat cafe. So um, we ask that you don't pick up the cats just because it can stress them out seeing so many people per day. So they are all rescue cats, so we don't want to stress them out. We have um, three floors, technically. We have two for our customers and us, the top two. The bottom floor is a basement area, it's cats only. So they have a bunch of food in the basement and water in the basement, a bunch of litter boxes in the basement. And then throughout the cafe, we also have food and water. We have different types of water bowls. We have um, the fountain water bowls, and we have uh, water bowls that just stay. So they get cleaned and washed twice a day and refilled and they they never go hungry or thirsty. <laughs> um, when you come in, we have laser pointers for you to play with them, their favorite. So we've got a lot of toys to play with. They can come crawl up on your lap. You can snuggle with them on. We, we keep the cafe very open with the furniture. So there's a lot of low seating with um, uh, cushions and everything. So the cats will just come up and snuggle you right away and take pictures and snuggle them. Oh, oh, goodbye, my boy. The, the, everything, the adoption process goes through Lost Dog and Cat Rescue, and so you'll apply on our website, and that goes straight to them. They review the application, and they set up an interview with you. They'll do an interview, a background check, to make sure you're a good fit with the cat. Um, once they approve your application, they will uh, take the adoption fee, which is $150. Which uh, he kind of came to me as soon as I got here, and he hung out with me for a full hour. <laughs> So, I didn't really get too much exposure to other than like two or three other cats. Well, I actually uh, found out about it through a friend of mine. Uh, I work at an acting school that's local to Georgetown, and uh, she told me about this cat cafe is what it was, and uh, my girlfriend here, Larissa, she loves cats, and I'm not really a cat person, so on Valentine's Day, we came here and checked it out. So, through a friend, and we had a great time. We got Robin now, so. Sel, ya. aku ternyata berganti pikiran, aku dog person. <laughs> ini siapa, Nel? Ini kamu, namanya kamu Mino. Bawa. Oh, Mino, so cute. Iya, Mino ini salah satu yang diselamatkan dari Korea Selatan. Oh. Iya, dari dog farm dog di Korea farm, Selatan. Ya. Jadi, Jadi ternyata memang di belahan dunia yang lain ya, mm-hmm. termasuk sangat disayangkan di negara kita juga. Masih banyak orang yang mengkonsumsi daging anjing sebagai makanan sehari-hari. Wow. Mengerikan. Iya, kalau misalnya di Amerika, Mino ini uh, siap untuk adopsi. Siap untuk adopsi iya, ya. Tapi kalau pasti, dilihat pasti. memang dia sangat ini ya aktif dia. ya, betul, gitu. Uh, uh. Nah, jadi Stel sebetulnya uh, di Amerika ini kan perlakuan terhadap binatang itu seperti manusia lah iya, ibaratnya. Iya, Mereka iya. adalah teman baik manusia, iya. human best friend. Nah, tak heran jika banyak sekali ada usaha-usaha di Amerika seperti kafe atau restoran yang mengkhususkan untuk hidangan anjing uh-huh. tapi bisa juga dikonsumsi oleh manusia. Di pesta ulang tahun Pierre semua senang. He's not just a dog to me, he's a member of the family. <laughs> Jasmine dan suaminya Daniel mengadopsi Pierre 5 bulan lalu. Ia ditemukan berkeliaran di jalan. Walaupun tidak jelas berapa umurnya, Jasmine dan Daniel ingin membuat pesta ulang tahun Pierre di kafe ini. Like most dog owners, I care about the snacks and treats that I give my dog. Begitu pula Kevin Matthews, pemilik The Dog Chef Cafe, seorang foodie yang juga pencinta anjing. Ia menggunakan keterampilannya sebagai chef makanan manusia untuk menciptakan hidangan lezat untuk anjing. Dog friendly shortcake made with uh, um, no sugar at all, just a little honey and topped with a uh... A raspberry reduction. Jika ini terlihat enak dimakan, memang benar. Our little pup is going to get his own little hamburger and sweet potatoes. Menurut Kevin, hidangannya baik untuk kesehatan. If their skin is dry, I'm going to direct them to a coconut muffin because it's filled with the proper oils, or one of the pumpkin muffins if they have a problem with digestion or they're constipated or something like that. 
Pesta Pierre sukses dan meriah, baik anjing maupun pemiliknya sama-sama bahagia. And the dogs really seem to like the food. Pierre, he has a Twitter account and an Instagram. He is at Pierre Puck. So I will post pictures from his party today to share with his followers. Kevin sendiri senang bisa memberikan hidangan terbaik untuk anjing-anjing kesayangan. A dog spends it, its life making us happy. And what makes me happy is seeing a dog happy. Dari Baltimore, Maryland, tim VOA. <laughs> hey, Mino. Wah, okay, dia udah, ini kayaknya udah bosan. Iya, dia udah jalan -jalan. bosan. Ya, udahlah. Kami mau ngajak uh, Mino jalan-jalan dulu ya, pemirsa. Iya. Tapi jangan kemana-mana. Kami akan segera kembali dengan cerita-cerita yang menarik ya. Iya, karena nanti juga kita akan membahas terkait dengan hari dunia ya. ya hari, hari bumi. bumi. Earth Day. Tetaplah di dunia, dunia kita. kita.